Welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger with me, Get Daved. We're at the mountain of Woe. I'm walking back and forth. Alright, we're on the second screen of it, of the Place of Chains as they call it. I believe if I go to the right there, that's just a dead end with treasure, so I would like to visit it. Gargoyles, I recall last time saying that they're not that dangerous. Uh, that statement's still true. But they do have an attack that reduces your HP to 1, so gotta watch out for that one. I wonder if that will finish him off. Of course not. I'm a little, a little confused how these enemies work. I believe if you do a certain amount of damage, it'll kill the, the Bantam. Uh, if you do a little bit more, it kills them both in one shot. And if you only kill the Bantam, then you get a Stone Imp who still has full hit points. I decided I'm going to go this way first. Because I just want to keep you guessing. I'm a madman. Who knows what I'm going on? What crazy machinations move in my head. As you can see, gargoyles are not much of a threat. But they're an excellent farm for experience and tech points. 24 tech points for that fight. I mean, come on! Alright, now we're seriously going to head over here. I think there might be a rubble as well. Mm-hmm. Shield. Okay, load vest is just decent armor. Uh, no elemental defenses. It's one point stronger than our current armor. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that for now. Uh, the shield is physical immunity to a character. Critical hit this sucker and kill him, Chrono. Okay, there's one hit. Not like this! Oh, goodness. There's two. One more. From anyone. Yes! Ah, oh, That was good. Aelins learns charm. Alright, so they also got twin charm, dual tech between Marl and Ayla. It uh, is like charm, but more likely to succeed. So if you have Marl and Ayla in your party, which is always, you know, a good setup to have, it uh, pretty much guarantees you a steal and you don't have to use the charm top, which is nice. A nice side effect. <clears throat> uh, Marl's good for a little bit. I'm gonna leave Ayla in, because it'd be nice to learn her level 6 tech. Uh, so let's swap in, I guess... Robo. No, Frog. Robo's a bit slow for this area. Alright, so... We've actually reached kind of the halfway point for this area, which is too bad I was enjoying the copious amounts of ex exp I was getting. I may switch in Marl for one fight uh, with Chrono and Frog, just because uh, we can get their triple tech now, which is uh, friggin' awesome. So, that'd be nice just to have. I mean, it only takes one battle to get, and uh, I would rather have the option of just instantly having it available. This is actually, I think, going to be my first triple tech. One lapis lazuli. Textbook cyclone. Uh, one note about uh, triple techs. We picked up an item called the Black Rock a little while ago. Um, the Black Rock enables... You can equip it on Luca Marl, or the last character. That, you know, the one we don't have yet. And it'll give them a triple tech that they can all use together. Oh, Arc Impulse, you're so great. 
Um, the drawback of said triple tech is uh, you need to have that accessory on one character. There's also the blue rock and the white rock and hard rock. You know, there's all sorts of rocks out there. Um, worth noting is uh, every other triple tech in the game requires Chrono. He's the linchpin for all of them. So, I mean, he's already, I think, clearly the best character in the game, but uh, that is a serious point in his favor. Also, I think it's a cool superpower for Chrono to have. He's the ultimate team worker. Alright, Gargoyle there looks like he's about to freak out and do his continuous blow. Problem solved. I'm a little surprised that the critical hit from Chrono wasn't enough to totally kill the Bantaman, but whatever. I always thought there was a another rubble around here. Yeah, there we go. I got my triple tech, so switch Marl out. Uh, yeah, I think it's Ayla time. I don't have a lot of confidence in my character's ability to kill a rubble without Ayla in the party. It's unfortunate, but true. One. Come on, team. Please. Two. Uh-oh. Yes! And that's probably enough to one-shot it, but anyway. 100 free tech points. They're so great. They can't even hurt you. They're nothing but, like, a bank. Just checking up on the tech situation. It's good to get everyone to level 6. In my opinion, once you get to there, you've got most of the goods. Wow. Um, of course, I mean, their highest ones are pretty amazing, but uh, once you have the first six, you can get most of the great double and triple techs for almost every character. As a general rule, the final uh, tech every character learns tends to be a super great offensive move, usually magical. Usually hits all enemies. You know, Ayla gets triple kick instead. That is like three straight attacks from her. That one's pretty good. <clears throat> Everybody else is generally magic attacks that hit everyone, even a robo. Alright, these enemies pose a little bit of a threat. They're called man-eaters for one, which is terrifying. I'm, I'm scared already. But uh, they can confuse you. So if, say, they confused Chrono, that would be bad, because he's got absurd offense and I count on him to do everything. Sometimes that cancels out the initial one. Other times, they just keep hitting characters. The good news is when they're confused, their uh, stats are totally nerfed, so... Alright, I'm just gonna just try finishing it off with Frog. Oh goodness. Yeah. See, Ayla did a critical hit, only did 120 damage. So I think it's a quarter of their strength. Looks like about that. All right. Frog's next tech is Cure Two, just like Marl. I've complained about Cure Two enough to you guys about its lack of usefulness, so you all know the disappointment that it is. Uh. Time to swap in Luca, I think. She's fallen a bit behind everybody else, and she's a good character. I'm also expecting... I think I'm going to leave this party together, actually, for the rest of this area, for uh, reasons we will discuss as it becomes relevant. Also, she's a bit behind in her gear. I think speed belt's in order. All right.
The boss in this upcoming area, I might as well tell you now, uses a lot of fire attacks and a lot of shadow attacks. Or at least one really big one of each. So, it's nice to have Luca around because she's got, you know, fire protection. Oh goodness. I always think it's hilarious when Marl and Luca miss with their attacks, because it's pretty clear they're nowhere near the target. I'm also confused as to why these guys are so hard to hit. He appears to be a rock. Maybe there's one special weak point you gotta hit. There we go. Flame kick, Rolo kick, and uh, fire at the same time, I believe. It's alright. Uh, looks like we won't have time to finish this battle, so I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger.